The Cambridge Early Years Baseline Assessment is an engaging story-based assessment designed for children aged four to five years. It is an integral part of the Cambridge Early Years program taken at the beginning and end of EY2. This assessment supplements the overall Early Years Assessment approach. It helps you to see an objective picture of what your children know and can do and the progress they make during this crucial stage of development. The assessment can help you plan your teaching, giving you the information you require to support each child in your class. The assessment covers early literacy, early numeracy, communication and language, as well as personal, social and emotional development. The assessment is suitable for first language and additional language English speakers and takes approximately 25 minutes to complete. You will need a laptop or PC with speakers, which is connected to the internet. The assessment will not work on a tablet. When you are ready to start, follow this link. We recommend that you use Google Chrome. This is the first screen you will see. You will have received login details to access the assessment from the Cambridge International Support Team. These are unique to your school and should not be shared. This platform will be the only place you will need to go to to access the assessment, reports and to manage your children's details. To log in, enter your school login and password. If you are not able to remember your login, please contact our customer support team. Details can be found through the school support hub. Before your children can take the assessment, you will need to enter their details. This may be completed in two different ways. You can bulk upload using a .csv file. Select Add Student from the home page and Batch from the page as shown. Click Download CSV template and a file will be downloaded to your computer. You can now add your child information to this file. Once completed, you can then upload the populated file by selecting Select Input CSV file. The children's names and details from the spreadsheet will appear in the home page and may then be edited or deleted. Be careful! Once a child's record has been deleted, all reports relating to that child will also be deleted. Please download and save any reports you wish to retain before deleting a child's details and data. You can also add your children's details manually, one at a time. Select Add Student from the home page and you will be taken to the page to add details of a child. Enter the information and click Save. You will need to fill in all fields except for the unique pupil number, UPN. This can be left blank or you can use the UPN field to input any unique identification number or code that you have for the children in your school. The children's details will appear on the home page and may be edited and or deleted whenever required. Once you've finished entering your children's details, you are ready to start the assessment. On the students page, select the name of the child who's going to take the assessment. This will take you to the student details page, where you can check if all the information is correct. You can edit by clicking on the incorrect detail and then make sure to save. When you've checked everything, click start. Then click the assessment you would like to use with the child. After confirming the child's details, you will be asked on this screen to check that you can hear the sound clearly. Use the slider to adjust the volume. You are now ready to start the assessment. This is Millie the Bug. Hello, I'm Millie the Bug. Let's do some activities together. Listen carefully and I will ask you some questions. See if you can answer them. You will both hear Millie asking the questions and as the adult, you may also read the question in the prompt box near the bottom of the screen. But make sure you use the exact same words 
do not rephrase it. You can replay Millie's instructions by clicking the replay audio button towards the upper right corner of the screen. The main assessment begins with questions about early literacy skills before moving on to early mathematics. The assessment is designed to have more questions than a child can answer to make sure they get the chance to show fully their understanding. The assessment works by seeing when a child starts to find questions difficult. It is important to find out what the child can do themselves, so do not help them during the assessment. For example, here are some of the screens you will see. Can you point to some writing? The child can point to the writing in the picture as well as writing that is not in the picture. Both responses are acceptable. After the child has told you the answer, you need to mark the child's answer as being correct by clicking Y or incorrect by clicking N. Do not prompt or suggest answers to the children you are working with. Just accurately and discreetly record their responses to the questions in each of the activities. Please offer encouragement as you work through the activities, but do not indicate if responses are correct or incorrect. It is important that children are allowed time to answer, but do not spend too much time on each question. Move on by clicking N if a child is unable to provide a correct answer in a reasonable length of time while suggesting that they try the next question. It is possible to go back to the previous question by clicking previous item or replay question by clicking replay audio. Can you point to the bug who is reading? In the reading sections, there are no Y and N buttons to click. Instead, select the words the child reads aloud correctly by clicking on each word individually. The words you select will be highlighted in yellow. For example, Can you read this? This is the first screen in the mathematics section. The child is asked to identify leaves with different shapes. Can you point to a leaf shaped like a star? If you cannot complete the assessment in one session, you can stop by clicking the Save and Exit button in the lower right corner. If you wish to continue later, you will have to use the same computer and browser that you used before and have cookies enabled. Begin again from the start screen and choose Resume when prompted. Once you reach the end of the assessment, Millie will say goodbye. You click on Finish and then close that window on your computer. The data from the assessment will be automatically returned securely and a report instantly generated. You can also complete a personal, social and emotional development questionnaire for each child. The questionnaire is accessed separately from the main assessment by selecting the appropriate child's name from the list. This section of the test allows practitioners to consider how a child is developing in respect to making relationships with others, self-confidence, self-awareness, managing feelings and behaviour. A simple multiple choice scale allows practitioner perceptions to be recorded. The child should not be present for this part of the assessment. Once you reach the finish screen in either of the tests, you will see an option to download the report. A report providing a general overview of how a child responded to the activities will then open in a new window following the completion of an assessment. You may save a copy of the report at this point too by clicking the download report button. If you need to refer back to a child's report at any time, you can do so by returning to the main student's administration screen and selecting the children for whom you wish to view their reports. Students may be selected using two different methods. 
Firstly, by clicking anywhere on the relevant row, a student's details will be highlighted in blue as you hover the cursor over each row. Once you have selected an individual child, you will see their details. You may then view their report by clicking on the View Report button on the upper right corner. Alternatively, you may select multiple children by ticking the boxes to the left of the individual child's names on the student's screen. Once you've done this, a Download Report button will appear at the bottom of the window. Click on this button to download the reports as PDF files. The downloaded files should appear in your computer's Downloads folder. For further information on the report and assessment, you can take a look at the Cambridge Early Years Baseline Assessment Guide, which is available on the School Support Hub.